Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm super excited. I'm inventing a new recipe and I'm so glad you're here to experience it with me. I'm going to be trying to make a peppermint white chocolate cake roll. Like um, the Hostess or Little Debbie's cakes that are you know rolled up like that with the cream in the middle. Um, but I want it for Christmas so I'm hoping and hopeful and I believe I believe it will turn out. So if you want to see how that works, stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you're not already. Let's get to it. I've got my vanilla cake mix ready. Um, I will leave a link to this video in the description. If you haven't already watched it, go check out how I make this vanilla cake mix. And I'm just going to divide it evenly into these two bowls. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. I was thinking about weighing it, but I'm just going to eyeball it. We're just going to kind of scoop it out in here into two different sections and then go from there. I got them divided into two bowls. Um, I normally would bake this whole cake into a half sheet pan. These are about a quarter sheet cake pan. I picked these up at the dollar store and I decided to use these today because um, I only need about half the size of what I want. If that makes sense, half, half the size of the sheet pan for what I want to do. And so I figured if I did it this way, instead of having to try to cut it and everything, I could just do two. And then I could have one for what I need and one as a gift to give to somebody or to sample. Because I want to take this to a party for Christmas. Um, and I believe you can just make it in advance and freeze it. At least that's my goal. All right, so... I'm going to get both these pans lined with parchment paper and we'll continue from there. I have seen videos of many bakers and cooking places and where they cut this parchment to fit perfect and look so nice, but I I always my I don't have time for that. I don't even care. I just need it to stay in place long enough for me to get the batter poured in and it'll be fine. So if you want to um, cut your paper to fit your pan. Perfect. That's do that. But I'm not gonna do it. So um, if it bothers you, you can just fast forward through this part. Okay. So I'm just clipping it. It'll work. It'll hold it in place. The pan. The cake's not gonna go that high up in the pan, anyways. Um, I just want to be able to lift it out when it's done. So. Yeah, this works for me. So you do what works for you. If it's better for you to cut your paper to fit perfectly, then you should do that. Okay, guys, just do whatever is good for you. All right, see, this covers the sides, and it won't stick. Perfect. Okay, now here's my true test. I'm trying to make one red and one green. I just... I don't know if it's going to end up being pink or anything like that or how much red or if you have to have a special kind of. We're just going to go for it and add some and see what happens. Okay. And hope hope it's enough and hope it looks a pinkish red color and not like I'd really like it to be really red. But, but it's going to be whatever it is. That's what it is. Okay. Because this is what I got. I don't have money to go buy some special stuff, but maybe in the future. So if you guys got some ideas, if I'm not using the right color product, like if it's supposed to be some kind of gel, then let me know. I used to work at Mrs. Fields, so I kind of know a thing or two about stuff, but not a lot. <laughs> All right, so that's probably going to be red enough, and then we'll move on to this green one. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get much redder. But that looks cool. Okay. So... Let's put the lid on that because I can see a disaster happening. All right, let's move on to green. I keep seeing movement out of the corner of my eye. I hate that. Okay. Hopefully this looks good. I just want it to look like Christmas, okay? Oh, it looks just like Christmas. Oh, my oven's getting heated. You got to preheat your oven to 350. I really like 350. <laughs> so, 
Maybe because I weighed that for so long. But half of you didn't know I used to weigh over over 300 pounds. I used to weigh almost 400. I was actually 401 pounds at my heaviest. All right. I think it looks great. All right. So now I'm going to put these into two uh, baggies. All right. I decided against the freezer bags um, and went with these. I think these will be fine. I hope. <laughs> These are just a, a cheaper bag for expense wise. The, the freezer bags are costly and we're just gonna be using it to pipe this into the pan. So I figure it should be fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knot this. I have not done this before. Never, ever, ever. <clears throat> I've made cakes, but I've never made this one. Okay, and I've never made it in a smaller pan, so hopefully everything goes good. So I'm just gonna spray the parchment with olive oil. My oven is ready to go. I'll go ahead and spray them both so they'll be ready. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do it, you know? We're just gonna do it, right? Worst case? We have the Maj Paj of a cake mix, but it'll be okay. All right. Um, try not to hyperventilate. Okay. All right. I'm trying to figure out where I can set the... Maybe I'll get a bowl here. I'm going to do one and then the other, but I have to rotate between the two colors and it where it's dough, it's going to run. And so i got to kind of be a little quick, so... I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Let's try this. Let's do it. All right. Okay. We'll do some green in the corner. And then some Got the one finished. Um, trying to like pat it flat. Can't really spread it. Ugh. My other ones, I kind of spread them, so maybe I should have made my batter just a little bit thinner to do this. Well, I don't know what to do other than to try to spread it a little bit. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Try to spread it in there a little bit. It'll be okay. I think it might just cook. Maybe I should just leave it alone. You're not going to see this part anyways. This is going to be on the inside of the cake <laughs> when I roll it. So you won't see this part anyways. All right. Um, well, lesson is, I guess, that you want it a little thinner if you're going to do this. I thought it'd be perfect, but maybe it needs to be a little bit thinner. So maybe a little bit more, um, maybe a little more vanilla protein shake. But I'm practicing before the party, so we'll see how the other one turns out. Maybe I should be spreading them as I go. Like spread each layer, you know? I mean, this is already in here, but like, like just spread it out a little because I don't really want the cake batter much thinner remember this is a this is an experiment that's why we call it that so maybe the next ones I will spread them as I put them in there that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do on this one so I'll leave a little space and then um, just kind of spread it out just like I, if I was making the actual vanilla cake. Okay. Put the red one. I need another knife. Yeah, I think where it's thick, it's probably better to spread it. All right, 
I got the second one done. And what I have learned from my experiment is to spread the cake mix out before. Don't just squirt it because it is a thicker cake mix. It's a thicker batter. So, yes, the other one will probably be a bigger cake. But let's go ahead and get this one in the oven. And we can take a look at both of these. Um, it's much better probably to spread it beforehand. But either way, they're both going to taste amazing. I don't like that I spread it after, but oh well. It is what it is, and we're going to eat them. They're going to be great. So I think they both look good, aside from this little smear side job, which I should have just left alone. Um, how you check to see if a cake is done, just like any other cake, you stick a toothpick in if it comes out clean. Um, this one was thinner, so it's going to be harder to tell. But yeah, and then I'm just going to set those on a cooling rack. Um, I can tell you a time, you know, 350, 350 degrees for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, but it really will depend on how thin you spread them, how your oven works. So you just have to do the toothpick test. I'm mixing up my whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I got a couple of cups of that in here and a half a cup of stevia. I'm going to get some whipped cream going, and I'll be adding uh, this white chocolate sugar-free pudding. This is a small box, one ounce. I'll be adding to it to create the filling for my cake roll. Um, and then I'll just add um, a little bit of almond milk to if it's too thick. If it's not too thick, I won't be adding any liquid. I think you could do almond milk or a vanilla protein shake. I may do a vanilla protein shake, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. That way it'll give it a little more protein as well. Hopefully, we're going to hopefully turn this into peppermint candy using our blend tech. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, depending on how fine you're wanting your pieces, would depend on how long you pulse it for. But it turns out great! So I got my sugar-free peppermint candies all crushed up. And sealed. I sealed them so they don't get moisture in there. Look at these cute little containers. And our whipped cream is speeding up nicely. I guess I could speed it up a little. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add the pudding in and get my protein shake out here in just a minute. Alright, looks like it's getting nice and stiff. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Okay, the directions say for this to add two cups of cold milk uh fat free but i'm just sprinkling it on top of this fatty whipping cream that i just whipped up and i'm going to add not two cups this is 11 ounces of protein shake i'm not gonna add all of it i'm gonna add about half of it and then see how much more i need to add so add about half of it in there and then i'll just kind of stir that into the whipped cream I should have probably used a whisk, but I didn't. I'm using a fork. It'll be okay. Okay. I'm going to get a whisk. Because I want it to be smooth. Smooth enough, I guess. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more protein shake. I think I'm going to use my mixer. My shoulder's just hurting, and so... Oh, is it not going to work? Maybe that's not the right one. It goes on this side. Okay, well, I guess we're just doing it by hand because that's not the right mixer for this. It's okay. I can do it. It's just a little, a little hard on my arm. All right. Sorry, I had to take a break from my arm. was hurting really bad. I probably should have just left it on the stand mixer, but I didn't. Um, I will next time. Um, I, for some reason, I thought my hand mixer would work, but... Remember, y'all, this is an experiment. I've never done this before. This is the one I kind of spread the edge, but don't matter. 
because that's where I'm going to put the feeling. And this is the part people are going to see. So, and I almost broke it right there, just flipping it over. You seen that? Oh, goodness. That's okay, though. It's okay. All right. So, I've never done it before. So, I'm just going to try to roll just the cake by itself. I probably should have done this when it was still a little bit warmer. But, I'm just doing it anyways. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It will be okay. So next time I do this, I will do this when the cake is still kind of warm. Okay, so there I've got my rolled up cake. Looks beautiful. Now I'm just going to unroll it carefully. It don't matter. I can see there clearly that it has broken. It doesn't matter. It will be okay. So I'm going to paste it back together. Definitely want to do that while it's warm. Okay, so now I'm going to put my little filling mixture in here. Oh my gosh. This, you know what? This is going to be good. I don't care if it broke. This is the first time I've ever done this. You guys are joining me. You should feel so blessed to be joining me on my experiment journey. I thought about rolling this when it was warm, and I was like, yeah, it'll be okay. But now I know. Got to roll it while it's still warm. Oh, well. It'll still taste good. All right, so I'm kind of spreading this to the end. Now, this is just whipped cream, heavy whipping cream with stevia, right? And then I added, once it was blended, I added that uh, white chocolate pudding mix, sugar-free. And then one vanilla protein shake. All right. Okay, it's probably going to be a big mess, but it's okay. It's okay. Round two, this is a smaller one. Um, gonna flip it over there. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. I'm not gonna roll it a practice roll. I think I'm just gonna just put the filling on it. No, I should probably. I probably should have rolled it when it was warm. Why didn't I do that? I know, I've seen those videos and that's what they do. Well, the cake is still warm so that it will roll for them. That's what I should have done. Oh well, I didn't. So, it's okay. Alright. You live and learn, right? So if you guys decide to copy this recipe, remember to roll your cake while it's still warm, right? Well, I can tell you one thing. This filling tastes amazing. <laughs> I'm thinking when it's frozen, it'll be just like a pudding pop, but with peppermint. Oh, does this just not make you think of Christmas? All right, so I wrapped them up and froze them, and then I set this one in the fridge to kind of thaw out so we could actually slice it. I tried slicing it frozen. Yeah, that was not gonna happen for me. So, um, I did shave a little bit off the ends when it was frozen, and it tasted amazing. So let's, I mean, it looks good through the paper, right? <laughs> um, I honestly think it looks just as good as the ones at the store. Those little logs that they have, the cake logs. All right, that's one end. This is the other side. We're gonna go ahead and slice into it. I know it's gonna be amazing. So I guess you just slice it however big a piece you wanted, but oh my gosh, I think it looks so good. 
And I tried that little piece on the end, and it tasted pretty good, too. All right. So, yeah, I think this is a win for a keto cake roll, whatever you want to call it, Christmassy peppermint white chocolate. I hope you guys try this recipe and love it. My only recommendation is you definitely roll the cake while it's still slightly warm, unless you don't care if it breaks a little. I didn't care. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.